This weekend with three wins, how big is that for, for you given, given where you guys were coming in? Well, I think, you know, you have to really look at each year. I mean, we got beat all three games last year in this thing, and it was the best thing for us. So you never know what's good for you, uh, I would say. And in this case, you know, I think it was good for us. Uh, we needed confidence. We needed to play well. We needed to play Bruin baseball. We needed to pitch. We needed to play defense. We needed to do things that give you a chance to win. And this weekend, we, we gave ourselves a chance to win. And uh, that's all you, the position you really want to put your team in. And, and uh, you know, the guys uh, battled. Uh, that was a tremendous game. Um, you know, I think the most impressive thing in Seattle really was the, you know, we were the visiting team. Uh, that, those are tough games to win when you're the visiting team. Uh, you know, it, it, you, don't get it, you don't get a run, and now, you know, uh, you may have to get them out six more times. And, you know, it's, it's uh, kind of felt like the Arizona State game last year. Uh, anybody that watched that game, uh, I think that was 15, 16, 17 innings, and it was just, you know, and we held on. And, and there, today was a lot of the characteristics of that, of that game. And, we haven't seen that from this team, so uh, you know I think we can build off this. You know, it's it's just a, uh, something to build off, but it doesn't you know it doesn't uh, we, you know we're not too excited. Uh, we we know there's a long uh, long season and a lot of uh, a lot of games ahead of us. Does win four hundred number four hundred for you here? What does that mean for you and, and for I guess for the program? Well, I think you know I mean. Like I said on the on the uh, on the TV, you know, uh, a lot of good players, a lot of good assistant coaches, um, you know, a culture uh, that we've built over the last, uh, you know, since '05, and uh, you know, a lot of guys have been a part of it. So, um, you know, I look at Coach Garrido and Gillespie and Coach Horton, and all the guys have won so many games, a lot more than 400, really, and so it's it's just a number, really, but. Uh, you know, I'm just proud of how how well we how well we fought. The USC has a very good team. Uh, you know, from Jeremy to Timmy to uh, you know Ramirez to uh, they're, they're good, and, and and we know that. And they they, they, they were good last year. So uh, you know, it was a hard fought win against a very good team. What about the set end of that? Well. Uh, Good setting, uh, you know, I think with the weather, you know, I think what we have 9,000, is that what the number was? Um, you know, pretty good. I mean, I think if it, you know, didn't pour last night, who knows, we could have maybe possibly got some more, but uh, I think this turned into a great event over the years. Um, you know, the baseball community can come together. Uh, a lot of the high schools, a lot of the high school coaches. Um, I think it was a coincidence. Um, uh, that, you know, right before uh, I thought about it last night that I thought we, won't, we should dedicate this game to, to you know, Scott Muckey. Uh, I thought that uh, was the appropriate thing uh, for what he, how, what he did for baseball in Southern California, what he stood for, and uh, I, I just thought it was a great day uh, for Southern California uh, baseball in, in a lot of ways. Muck, I know, was looking down on us, and uh, in terms of you have two quality programs, competing against each other uh, in an iconic stadium, uh, uh, legendary, you know, ballpark, and uh, it was, uh, you know, one for the ages, really, in terms of uh, how well that game was played. I mean, you had two errors in uh, 14 innings, you know, one, one error on each team. So uh, I thought it was, it, was, it was pretty good baseball. And uh, they could have won the game uh, several times uh, uh, in the ninth, extra innings. Uh, but like I, like I said before, uh, I, I'm very proud of uh, us, uh, our bullpen, and, and making pitches. And I think a lot of guys grew up today. And, and you know, we have, I mean, Gatsby, I mean, Molnar is a freshman uh, thrown to Hirabashi, who's a converted guy. And then you got Gatsby on the game on the line, who's thrown to Hirabashi. I mean, those guys are very young, inexperienced players. And, you know, it's, it has shown over the last 11 games. But I think they can look at tonight and and uh, really uh, think they maybe you know, possibly took a step forward toward their maturity as a, as a college baseball player.
Brett is a little bit of relief. You've been hitting some balls hard, not getting some hits. Today you get four hits. Uh, kind of set the table for you guys. Yeah, it's nice to kind of break through, but um, I know I've been hitting the ball hard, so uh, when you hit the ball hard, they, they come. So um, more importantly, it was a huge team win, big weekend for us, um, another step on our journey. And, we had a lot of guys uh, step up and make strides, and that's only going to help us down the road. So we're going to get back after it tomorrow and um, get after this new week. When Kristoff hit that ball, you're running down the line. What, did you get a chance to you know look back, take a peek back and see it? And what did you kind of think as you're running down the line? Um, as soon as we have a, a good runner like Kristoff, a ball that clears the pitcher like that on a chopper, uh, you like your chances. But I didn't really see the play. I was just running through the plate. And, Make sure I touch the plate and then turn around and Felita's coming around the score, so it was a good feeling. Christoph, what about you? On that play? Yeah. I was definitely not looking. I was running as fast as I could straight towards first, so I just was uh, had my head down running hard and was glad to hear uh, the crowd cheering. I knew something good happened. Either I beat it or whatever happened, so it worked out. As, as a veteran guy, what does it mean for you to you know come to Dodger Stadium? You've been here a couple times. Uh, to have that opportunity again and, and to beat USC in that kind of fashion? Well, it's, a, it's an outstanding experience for everyone. Um, I mean, it was a great game by both teams. I think we definitely gave the fans uh, something that they'll remember and certainly something that we'll remember for the rest of our lives. And, uh, you know, it was a great experience playing in this last year, but we certainly didn't win the game and we were disappointed with that. So this year was uh, a good game for us to turn around and, and win this one. I want to see one for the bus. Unless it's it. I, with the way that, that the, the season started for you, does it make it more important to, to get a perfect weekend here? Um, not necessarily. We're just focused on one game at a time. I mean, obviously it's, it's important. Um, it's good that we won this series. You look at last year, we started off stronger and then dropped all three games in the Dodger Town Classic. This year, uh, started off a little bit slower and now we won all three games. So it's, it's just a different scenario. Um, we treat each game equally, and like Brett said, it's just another good step for us moving forward, and we're starting to come together and play good baseball. Coach, what did you think of Molnar today? I like Molnar. I mean, Molnar, you know, I mean, you know, um, you got, you got, uh, you know, AJ that hit the ball to right field with two strikes that Eric thought he had a beat on it, and it was, I don't like to use the word candlestick park in, in Dodger Stadium. But those wins, uh, the first four or five innings was, was tough. I mean, you saw, you know, Newt Barr, uh, you know, the ball go off his glove, a couple balls hit the left, and you can ask these guys. I mean, it was swirling, and the flags did not tell the story. It was, the flags were going one way, and the ball was reacting the other way. That ball took off, the uh, ball Ramirez hit, and, and uh, there you go, boom, two runs. Okay, how are you going to respond? And uh, I think he responded pretty well. I mean, he pitched with his fastball. He threw the ball in and out. Uh, that change is a, is a really a knockout punch. But I think he took a big step today. I mean, he like I mean, do five innings, but he has nothing to really show for it. Uh, but this 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 is a major step in his development against a very good team and a very big stage. And you know, uh, I think he competed the right way. He took some blows, gave up a two, gave up a, a one. I thought the one was a good one. That could have been more. And then, and then he threw three, three, three zeros with Brett's double play. That was a, you know, a web jam. I mean, that was a great play and I got him to that fifth inning. So I think, uh, you know, I think you saw a starter uh, coming into his own a little bit. I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, we're not really looking for that. We're looking for just a, you know, step in the right direction. And Kyle gave that to us today.